Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the finale for my Taylor Swift project pan. I started this back in either July or August, so it's been a few months. I had one update a few weeks ago, and now it is over. It ended on December 13th, so I'm a couple days late with getting this update up, but I did want to get as much progress on these items as possible. But... I'm basically just going to show you the things that I used up, the things that I didn't touch, and everything else in between. So let's start off with what I was able to finish during the project. So the first thing I finished I actually showed in my last update and I have since thrown it out. And that was the Becca First Light or Backlight Primer. It's the purple one. And I pretty much just said that I don't really love glowy primers, so it was kind of wasted on me and not something that I am that interested in repurchasing. It wasn't as bad as the other one in that range, the like more bronzy, champagne-y toned one. Um, it wasn't as bad as that one, but it just was not my favorite product ever, especially since I do have oily skin and I just don't need that kind of luminosity in my primers. The next empty I am super super excited about and that is the L'Oreal Pro Matte in, or Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This was and still is one of my favorite foundations especially as far as drugstore foundations go. I just really really love this. Um, it definitely was getting old and kind of wasn't as great toward the end there and I still never remembered my favorite primer foundation combo with this. I played around with it and none of them were quite as great as I remembered so I'm hoping once I pick up a new one of these <laughs> I'm hoping once I pick up a new one of these I will be able to remember which primer looked amazing under this but still a mystery right now. Um, I probably won't repurchase this right away. I do have quite a few foundations that I would rather use up uh, first before picking this up but I definitely will at some point repurchase this because wow it's just really really nice. So the next empty product is a Kat Von D product. I'm so happy about that. And it is the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder. It is no secret that I no longer support Kat Von D, so to have this out of my collection it feels so good. Um, I think I've talked about this now in like two videos, so basically if you want more thoughts on that, you can either check out my most recent empties or my update for my 18 and 2018 pan. Is that the one? Or my 9 by New Year's. One of those. It's in one of those. And I've talked about it. It's not my favorite. I'm not going to miss it. And I'm so, so glad it's gone. Last up for empties, we have my MAC Snob Lipstick. This is, was also in my 18 and 2018 pan. So it's gone. It's flat. It's very, very exciting. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, as I've said in a couple other videos as well, used to love this. This used to be like an everyday color for me. Now, pretty much over it, gonna back to MAC it, but I'm super, super happy to finally use up my first ever lip product. Well, lipstick, not lip product, lipstick. Next up, we have a product that I really didn't get as much use out of that I would have, as I would have liked to, but I mean, I did use it and it's now become like my exclusive toe color, or pedicure color. So it's just the Deborah Lippman My Old Flame Nail Polish. I still really like it. It still works really nicely so I don't feel bad keeping it. And um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to use it as my red product. So I didn't expect to use it up because that's a lot of product. But uh, yeah, I do really like this and I will be keeping it because it's just really nice. Then we have the red lipstick I chose for this pan and that is the Sephora Collection what are these called? I always forget what they're called. Cream Lip Stain in 01. It's just a really nice red color. It's what I have on right now. And it's basically been the red lipstick that I have worn throughout the season, which has been really nice. But the product sticks to the sides of this, so I really can't tell where I'm at with it. Um, So basically, I'm not going to throw this out or anything, and I really, really can't tell where I'm at with it. It doesn't get as much product on the applicator as it used to, which is a good sign. Um, but I won't be tossing this or anything, but I probably won't be throwing it in another pan unless I do another Taylor Swift pan. But uh, as of right now, it's a good lipstick. I like it. I do really like the formula of these. They're very, very, very comfortable. Um, and I will continue to use it for sure. And the other lip product I had in this pan was my MAC 
Viva Glam Gaga lipstick. I don't think I touched this throughout the majority of this pan. It's just not a color that I reach for anymore. I really don't think there's any progress on this so that's a letdown but when i think this is yes yeah, this is in my 18 in 2018 pan and at the end of it i definitely will be back to macking it just because i don't use it and it's just not worth having in my collection collecting dust and i've had it way too long we have a couple products that i will now be getting rid of the first being the cover effects what are these called the custom enhancer drops in moonlight i did use a decent amount of it i don't know if you'll be able to see but i got like a little bit further the dropper on this sucks and basically clogged and can't be used so i just kind of had to like wipe it on it was it was really annoying to use um i mixed this in with my primer uh, in order to like add a little glow though I don't love glowy primers as we've talked about but I just needed a way to use this and it was fine I don't love it I don't think I need to keep this I have another one that's more cool toned and I definitely prefer that to this this is not my thing and I'm I'm gonna get rid of it same basically goes for the milk cooling water this is just a deluxe size sample of it and I just have no use for it pretty much um I brought it down to Florida with me. I didn't use it in Florida. I don't want to use it under my eyes because I find it kind of weird and slimy. And it's just not a product that was meant for me, basically. And I will just be tossing this because there's just no point in keeping it. Next up, we have the Laura Geller Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla. I really, really like this. This has become my, like, go-to workplace highlighter because it's subtle but it does brighten up the face and it's just really nice and I don't have to be too careful with it um this just does get everywhere though I will admit um I don't think I have that much progress on it at all like I haven't made any kind of noticeable dip on it and yeah I have used this like every single day that I've worn makeup but it's just not a product that's moving that fast, to be honest. But I definitely have better feelings about it than I did when I started this pan. At the start of this pan, this was the product I regretted buying. My should have said no product, if you will. And I am happy now that I own this and that I can now get use out of it because it's just, it's a nice product. And I think I'm going to put it in my pan for next year because I just feel like it's a really easy product to incorporate in every day. Then we have my Naked Basics palette and I'm gonna be honest I used one shade out of this and that is the W.O.S. shade. I don't love the name of it but it's fine. Um, and yet again I don't even think I have a noticeable dip on this. No, basically looks like everything else but I do use this shade right here to set my primer every single day on my eyes and that's pretty much all I've used this for. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't reach for this as much as I thought I was going to. I've just been reaching for my regular Naked palette for day-to-day -day work makeup. I will be keeping this palette though. It's a really nice travel palette or just a really easy like need super wearable makeup. There you go. Um, yeah, so I probably won't be putting it in any more pans anytime soon just because it's just not really a not a, it's it's panable because it's really easy to use but it's just not something that excites me enough to want to use it on the everyday basis other than setting my my primer with it uh but yeah it was nice but I'm probably just going to go back to my normal uses of this and I'll probably keep it around my everyday makeup because I love that shade to set my primer because it's like my exact skin tone <sighs> and then we have my Anastasia brow dip dip brow brow is no dip brow and I basically stopped with the progress on this it's just impossible to keep going um well not impossible to keep going sorry it just doesn't show progress as much as it used to um I'm just kind of like chipping away at it every single day I do use it very often but I mean I wasn't gonna make significant progress on this in a few months because I haven't made significant progress in a year. So this will probably repeat into my 2019 pan, but I still love it. It's just uh, really hard to pan. And then finally, we have the shade that I chose for this um, pan out of my Naked palette, and that was Toasted, this one right here. Um, there is a little bit of a dip, but you probably can't see it on camera. I have discovered that this is one of my favorite shades in this palette and I'm not sure if I hadn't put it into this pan I would realize that. I just love the way this looks all over the lid or as like a base color for sidecar. I just really enjoy it. They are 
it's just a really nice easy color to incorporate into any eye look and I've been using it like crazy but unlike the other shades down here that I have already hit pan on this did not have too much prior use so it's taking it a lot longer to pan and I probably won't hit pan on it but I have discovered that I do love the shade. So that was my Taylor Swift project pan. I have loved doing this. I love Taylor and doing a pan inspired by her was just so much fun. I love panning. I love Taylor. It was a match made in heaven and uh yeah I obviously didn't do too well in progress but I am happy that I was able to get out some of these products um just because some of them have been around for quite a while and it also reminded me of some stuff that I didn't think I liked that much and realized actually has a pretty nice place in my collection but yes thank you guys so much for watching comment like subscribe all the normal stuff and I will see you guys again really soon bye